Content warning. Remember the Flowers contains themes of adult nature, scenes of violence, death, betrayal, and minor gore. Viewer discretion is advised. Starts to succumb to my panic. The light suddenly shifts. Slowly, I open my eyes, peek through the cracks of my fingers. Ow. Oh. Ow. Oh. 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 Hey. oh. The person... No, the beastman holding the gun moves one step closer. Hey, yo. Oh, apparently I am human. Ew. Yeah, I mean, eh. Um. <clears throat> what should we give him? He looks gruff. Depends on you. I know, I'm, just, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm, I'm reaching deep in my data banks of trying not to go southern. You're definitely going to end up going southern. No, I won't. No, I won't. I, I can do this. <clears throat> Don't move. Don't move. He says in a gruff, commanding voice. Okay, I got oh, it. Bye. I got it. I got it. If I was cold before, I'm frozen now. Damn. I'm just sitting here trying to follow his movements the best I can with what little I can see. The slits in my fingers, I can answer between one thing. Oh my god, wait, look at his arms. <laughs> What is that? Like, they're like skin grafts. Or something. He's, he's wearing a suit. He's a wolf. And a tall one at that. Yeah. Yeah. The wolf circles around me. I can see him clearly in my peripheral. <laughs> I can see, He can see my face now, along with the terrified expression I'm wearing. <laughs> gun or not, he could rip me to shreds with just those claws. I wish he could rip me to shreds with those Bonk. claws. <laughs> Bonk! <laughs> Terrified situation, Bonk! No! Well... Not that there's much to rip apart. I mean... I don't stand a chance running in my current condition. Hell, I can barely stand up. So I sit here waiting to see what he's going to do with me. Oh my... Oh. Bonk. He's a few feet away, gun still pointing at me. <laughs> Upon closer on closer inspection, it looks to be the size of a pistol, but it doesn't look like any model I've ever seen. It looks like a taser gun. It literally looks like a taser. It looks kind of cool, though. The wolf shifts his head, looking all over my body. Ooh. My teeth start chattering and reverberating through the alley. alley. Please don't. <laughs> oh my goodness. He walks up closer with the tent. Oh my! Bonk. <laughs> I shut my eyes. That's all I can do. And he gives you a little criminal kiss on the forehead. Mwah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst my breathing has been since I woke up. I could feel my empty stomach churn and my dehydrated eyes strain to tear up. The only thing that pulls me from my panic pulls me from my panic attack is a feeling of something soft under my chin. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. oh, oh. Ah! oh, he's adorable. He's so cute. <laughs> he starts to slowly lift my head with his paw. Ah. My paw pads feel like worn leather under my chin. His breath is hot on my face. Oh, oh. oh my god. I like this. This is cute. Diddy, diddy. Wolfie, wolfie. Mm hmm Now more than ever, I wish I was, I wish this was just a dream. I hope it's not a dream. <laughs> the wolf squints his eyes and speaks to me. I can't make it out as the ringing in my ears is too loud. Uh, it's all I can muster. Wolf choose closes his eyes before pulling his hand away. He sits in front of me, where I level with each other. Are you a? Uh, huh? He pauses once more before reading, repeating himself again. Are you okay? I don't respond. I'm not in the right state of mind to. <laughs> He seems to pick up on this. Calm down. I'm not going to hurt you. 
Wolf places the gun he was holding on the ground and slides it to the other side of the alley. See, if I wanted to, I would have. I would have already. That's one gun gone. But what about the one on his back? It's just a guitar. I I play sometimes at a cafe. I know this old song called Wonderwall. Bonk. <laughs> my ears fear to it. He notices. Damn, your ears are moving fast. My my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'm I'm not taking this that one off. It would be too much work. He states matter of factly before switching to a crisscross position. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay, you're okay. He looks me in the eyes again before holding his paws apart in front of me. Breathe in. He pulls them closer, almost clapping motion. And breathe out. I slowly transition from panic to confusion. Which I'd say is an upgrade. <laughs> Not raised, <laughs> putting the lyrics of Wonderwall in the chat! No! <laughs> And you're gonna be the one that saves me. God damn it. <laughs> and after all, you're my wonder wall. <laughs> that don't make me bonk you too. <laughs> just bonk the chat. This giant hammer just comes down and bonks the chat. <laughs> Future coffee, make, make your I'm gonna be making chat. so many edits for next week. God. <laughs> It had to be done. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you said this already, right? Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> okay. For some reason, the inflection in his voice sounds weird. He's speaking English, undoubtedly, but something about it is off. It sounds Filipino, but also trying to go Southern. I can't put my finger on it. Bless you. Is it a dialect? Regardless, I do as he says and start to match my breathing with his movements. We do this for a while, and slowly but surely, it seems to be working. With enough time and effort, and with the help of his wolf, I bring myself out of my self-induced panic attack. One final deep breath, I manage to get back to just breathing through my nose. Hmm. I'm still breathing faster than I would like to, but it's a start. There. Uh, how are you feeling? He takes a deep breath as well. Uh. I guess that did take longer than it needed to. Tired and dizzy. Get some rest, Rays. Don't feel as tired and dizzy as Arden right now. Sleep well. And don't, don't, don't wake up in the future. I still want to see you. <laughs> I saw. I finally dropped my hands down for a moment before moving to hold my head. Mm -mm. It feels like I swapped a panic attack for a headache. I'm not surprised. The wolf gets closer to me. To my, gets closer to me, to my head. Wow, I really don't like how close he's getting. Are you sure? I can be a little gruff. <laughs> Bonk. You lost a lot of blood. No shit. <laughs> Gently, he holds my chin and shifts me to the right, revealing the back of my head. He leans in closer and takes a few sniffs. Sniff, oh. sniff, 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 huff, 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 huff. <laughs> I can feel his breath again and I start to get apprehensive. I instinctively pull back. After he gave me a little lick on the cheek. Bonk. <laughs> <laughs> Gentle or not, this really isn't helping with my anxiety. You're still scared? Huh? Ooh. He leans in again. I feel the wetness of his nose on my forehead as he tra trails down, trails around my head before sniffing around some more. Oh. <laughs> sniff, snuff, sniff, snuff. Sniff, snuff, sniff, snuff. Uh. Sorry. The wolf says bluntly before he pulls back. Bit of mine. Uh, okay. What's your name? 
Yeah, suddenly, I literally don't have an answer for him. I don't know. Arden Whitefur. Bonk. <laughs> the wolf doesn't seem phased by that. What do you know? Uh, I don't know. My emotions feel like I mentioned I'm swapping between scared and confused at the drop of a dime. I like to believe he's right. If he wanted to hurt me, he would have done, he would have already. No, I think about it. I don't think he could hurt me either. I don't think he could hurt me either way on the account of not feeling any pain. Ooh. Well, that's not true. He could break my legs, and even if I couldn't feel it, I'd be at his mercy. Oh. Bonk myself. <laughs> Come, future comfy, bonk comfy. I'm bonking everyone in this freaking <laughs> fir the first freaking minute of this thing. I'm imagining every time I've been saying bonk future comfy, it's been just been like hammer. <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah, no. It's only been a literally a minute. <laughs> the flash of imagery in my head makes me shudder. No. Wait here. Huh? His voice snaps me out of my imagination. Oh. He stands up and then moves near the alley entrance. I cock my head as I try to see what he's doing. Woo. The wolf weighs a paw over his right wrist and a small screen lights up in front of him. Woo. Wolf of Donald. <laughs> Sci-fi? Sci Immediate <laughs> immediately. Oh. What is this? It seems to be coming out of a bracelet he's wearing. I squint trying to make heads and tails of it. Sci-fi tech, just let me get excited. Damn it. Fox McCloud here. <laughs> Seriously, where the hell am I? It's not where, but when. <laughs> oh, much. Seriously, where the hell am I? We certainly didn't have this kind of tech back on Earth. Ooh. Whatever he's doing, he's tapping fiercely away on it with his fingers. For a moment, he places his free paw over his chin. He looks deep in thought. All of a sudden, he turns his attention back to me and screams, 42! <laughs> anyway, <laughs> looking me over once more before typing away again. He waits. Then I hear something. A notification? I'm liking these sound effects. <laughs> so I know, right? It's so I'm good. So... <laughs> I'm so interested. I love sci-fi tech. Come oh on. God. Give it to me in real life. Ooh, this is definitely your game, Arden. This is your visual novel. I told you. This then he so... starts tapping again for about a minute before sliding the screen away. Okay. Can you stand? I'm going to take you home now. Oh. I have home? Home? Uh. Here. Wolf walks up to me before starting to get me onto my feet. He carefully gets... Oh, oh excuse Ooh. me. I almost threw up again. He Acid. carefully gets under my armpits and lifts me up slowly, trying to keep me stable. He's so strong. How's that? Oh, wait a minute. And then he stumble... I stumble nearly to my knees and he catches me. It's okay. I can carry you if you want... I said wait! Oh. I raised my voice and the wolf eyes, eyes widened a bit. I push him away, choosing to slump against the wall again. <clears throat> At least I'm still standing, if barely. Who the hell are you? Where the hell am I? How do you know where I live? Oh. Even though my adrenaline from earlier is one of I'm starting to get hit with a rising with rising paranoia. I barely even know- I barely even know where I live. You can't seriously expect someone with a head injury to just go with someone they don't even know, do you? I mean, he's kind of hot. I'll, I'll believe whatever he tells me. <laughs> I just look at his face! He poor looks boy. like he's a poor boy! Like, he's so adorable. He could never hurt us, right? Future Comfy, clip that and bring it in a future episode if he does hurt us. Huh. <laughs> 
quite feisty for someone with a head injury. Oh, 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 no. oh. Don't give me that smile. That that little smirk. Oh. The wolf sighs before walking over and then sits down in front of me again so that I'm looking down at him. Oh. It's adorable. Yeah? I'm kind of glad he did. My knees feel like they're about to give out and I sit back down on the ground. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this without alarming you, but you're going through a fairly common experience around here. What? Isekai, have you heard of it? <laughs> he bent taps the side of his head. People come here by getting hit by a truck. Sometimes. Hit truck coon, not again! <laughs> oh, so you do know truck coon. <laughs> I see. He's well known <laughs> across the galaxy to isekai people here. <laughs> Bearing Very... the head injury. What do you mean? Wolf scratches back of his head. It's best that you know as little as possible, unless absolutely necessary. That's a horrible way to build trust. Is it? That's what my dad taught me. I believe him. That's a bad person. I believe him. I didn't mean to say that loud, but I did mean it. I don't need your trust. Oh, God. Get get out. Get out, Southern (laughs) accent. Get out. (laughs) Go away, freaking cowboy hat. Get away from my head. I don't need your trust. I could take you by force if you really want me to. I was about to say it's there. Get away! Get get away from me! The fur on his neck bristles and my fear spikes again. (laughs) He flattens back down before rubbing the back of his neck. Relax. It won't come to that if you just cooperate. I'll say this. I've done this before many times. Done what? Make out with men. (laughs) Taking humans home, amnesiac or not. How do you know where I live? The wolf pauses. Do you know where restroom is? Restroom is. Uh, no. Should I? It's within the MTG galaxy. (laughs) It's in the universe. The wolf exhales, almost in, exhales, almost in relief. Huh. Whether or not you do doesn't matter to me. Rasum is one of the few cities that's mainly just humans around here. Okay, so where's around here? The wolf shakes his head. We could talk about that later. Honestly, we've dallied a long enough. Just know that I have contacts there. He lifts his paw, pointing it to that weird bracelet. A cool bracelet that Arden wants. I so want it, seriously. I've <laughs> confirmed a meeting point to get you home safely. I open my mouth, to which he interrupts. And before you ask any more questions, I give a description of your appearance and they match it up with someone who's missing. That's me closing my mouth. <laughs> um, <laughs> I guess you've done this before. I'm kind of surprising myself. I'm talking all all of this and I'm taking all of this in a way too quickly, aren't I? Yeah, kind of. I guess when your head's nearly empty, anything new becomes acceptable. Head empty, wolfman hot. I follow. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Regardless, I'm not going to... I'm going to at least try to remain skeptical. But how do I know that you're not just setting me up? The wolf <laughs> smirks at that. <laughs> you don't. What you, would you? What would you be able to do in your current situation if I was though? He has a point. I don't know where or who I am. I wouldn't be able to make it far. I can't tell if my ears are still ringing or if there's there are alarm bells going off in my head. All the red flags. <laughs> no, get away, red flag. You're not here. This is not a red flag. <laughs> Just imagine Fiji Cuffy editing a red flag like okay, sneaking ooh. in from the right. No, shoot, get back there. Get, get back down there. <laughs> I resign myself. Oh, oh my bad. My fast. Uh, back. I resign myself. I really don't have a choice. 
Okay, fine. Not like I trust you, though. That's wise. I wouldn't do... I won't do anything to hurt you. You can count on that. It's with you and the cute smile. I love it. I want to pet it. <laughs> I mean, well, we'll see, I guess. I, I mean, I do like head pats. With that out of the way, the exhaustion is starting to catch up, and I scoot back to my familiar spot against the wall. I can barely stand up, let alone walk. Let me carry you princess style. I can do that at least. Not too already imposed, but you wouldn't happen to have any food or water, would you? Mm. The wolf thinks it over before turning toward the alley and listening. Huh. Uh, yeah. We could probably have a quick bite to eat. Let me just... He walks over to a pile of crates and starts stacking them again, providing some de decent coverage. There, that should be fine. I doubt anyone will go through the trouble of, to get through that. Besides you? <laughs> Fair enough. I love Snow Coon's artwork. It's so good. I know, it's so adorable. It's so adorable. I'm so glad I got a commission out of them. Actually, but... that does make me curious. Before the wolf sits down, he plops the bag he had slung on his shoulder onto the ground. It's a full kitchenette, complete with an apartment building. It looks a bit weird, almost like a violin case, with its angles straightened out. Like an awkward trapezoid. Wait, I'm getting distracted. This is Arden. So, how did you know I was here? Huh? Oh. Wolf taps his snout with a couple of fingers. You're very musky, like a husky. I can smell you from a mile away. I would more think it's the blood. <laughs> it was faint, but I could smell you a couple blocks away. He pauses. Well, you're... <laughs> Hold it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're blood anyways. I see. Well, why did you go through the trouble of finding me? Hmm. Well, t Wolf takes out what seems to be a canteen and places it in front of me, along with some kind of package wrapped in what feels like plastic. Plastic in the future still exist? Oh. I mean, you'd be surprised. Plastic is very useful. True. Afterwards, he moves to, he moves to sit next to me against the wall. I take on a lot of odd jobs. I wasn't looking for you per se, I was just in the area when I caught your scent. He takes his own package, ripping it open. Some kind of food? You should consider yourself lucky. By the looks of it, you wouldn't have lasted another day or two. Looking over myself, I'd say he's right. I'm skin and bones with an empty stomach and a concussion. I might use this voice for that long... aqua cobalt soon. I kind of like this. Yeah, I'm definitely going to use it. it can... Fine soon. So, well, future. <laughs> now that I think about it, I'm kind of surprised I've made it this long. Slowly, I lean forward to pick up the canteen thing. I can feel liquid inside, but I don't see a way to use it. It's a rectangular shape with no discernible opening. Uh, mm... uh What? Woof. Woof. <laughs> he looks up from whatever he's eating. There's water in here, right? How do I open it? He swallows. Nice. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. He leads over and slides a finger across the top. A small opening appears. I'm trying to, like, imagine how this... Where, like, it's like a click-on, maybe? So, so it's a uh, rectangular box. box. Yeah. And and when you slide your finger up on it, it just goes beep and flips up one of those like straws. Ah, okay. There. It's got some nutrients in it, so that should help. Just drink it slow. Mm-hmm. I do as I'm told. By the hot daddy wolf. Bonk. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm not so dehydrated. Maybe oh. it's because I'm so dehydrated, but this water does taste pretty rich. It's not that I'm thirsty for this wolf. I'm just dehydrated. <laughs> glug, glug. Oh, wait, hold up. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Not the glug, glug. Oh my god. So. It's almost heavy. 
I try. You gotta I work on it that. for a moment, but swallow it down soon, not wanting to waste any of it. Yeah. Don't oh worry, you'll get some practice later. <laughs> I smack my lips a bit as if it's alcohol. Yeah, you, you okay? Yeah, just a bit strong. Just drink it slowly. I nod at Teddy Bear's lack of coordination. Try holding your thumb down. That usually works. Regardless, I'm thankful for the drink. You're welcome. My throat even starts to feel better just after a few minutes. Not wanting to drink it all myself, I mimic what he did earlier to close the canteen. Huh? You know. On second thought. Ooh. Wolf reaches over and takes the package he gave me. I'm just going to take a guess that, judging by how you reacted to the water, you could use something a bit lighter to eat. <laughs> he rummages once again in his bag before handing me a small parcel. That should be a bit lighter. It doesn't really taste, taste like much, but it's got some protein. Curious, I reach over and pick it up. Don't worry, you're not going to choke on this one. Bonk. <laughs> it feels like it's wrapped in paper, though there's no labels. Non-branded, just how I like it. <laughs> Even that little strength I have, I open it fairly easily. What's inside kind of looks like saltine crackers, but brown instead of manila. Heart tack. I lift one up and smell it. It's oh. like beef jerky, but only faintly. Beef jerky in small square shaped proportions. That, that, yeah. That's literally steak tips. That, that, that's what it is, honestly. If I'm being honest, they don't look very appetizing. I mean, yeah. <sighs> Oh, beggars like, can't be choosers, it's, though. It sounds like you ate it all. <laughs> I take one of the cracker things and bite into it. Thank Thankfully, he's right. It doesn't taste like much. I'm imagining like a beef bouillon cube, but in cracker form. Probably. I, I was thinking of like so, like hardtack, like those type of like... A little salty, but a bit sweet, but not much else. Definitely the texture of a cracker. I'm just glad I got something to drink. Dry. Damn. After a few minutes of eating, I look over to the wolf. He's enjoying his meal. At least I think he is. Man, how did I end up here? Now that I have time to think, I realize something. I don't recognize his voice from the ones I heard before. I died. I decided to speak up about this. I died. <laughs> <laughs> I died. <laughs>